be about business communication. This is me, Mr. Priya Darshini, from the Department of Ecom Ecommerce, Ramla College for Women. We're going to see the meaning. I hope so. You all know what is a business communication. It is the communication that we are sharing information between people within the workplace and outside a company. How do we communicate within an organization? Mainly if there are persons working in a company or in a workplace, we do communicate one-on-one -on -one or through the circular, something like that. But when we go outside a company, it means the communication has been shared through letters, email, Instagram, and so on. So, the applications over the networks. We are going to see the importance of effective business communication. What could be the importance of business communication? First one is active listening. Active listening is very much important to communicate in an effective manner because once information has been delivered wrong, totally the information goes in a wrong way. The next is clarity conciseness. What the information, the information, the nook and corner of the information, it has to be clarity. The information should be concise, concise what what the proper information that has to be delivered to the public or to the people who are working in a workplace. What's the writing skills? We all know writing skills is indeed important because once the writing skill is not so proper, automatically the communication will go in a wrong way. And next comes to the verbal communication. Verbal communication, we all know, verbally we are communicating. So, we will be able to cope with the communication to the other person. We should be capable of pretending what the communication that has to be communicated to the public or to the persons who are working inside an organization. The next one is nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is just through your uh, gestures or something like that, so that you're you're communicating with the other persons. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. We all know. Emotional intelligence can be of self-awareness, empathy, and motivation, self-regulation, and all the social skills that have inside us. So that we would be able to communicate in a better way. And next goes with the negotiation skills. Um, you know, we all know what is negotiation. Negotiation, it is just a deal. So we might be or we must be able to uh, get that deal what we are, we wanted to and we wanted to manage. That is negotiation skills. And the time management. Time management is Appreciable at all times in whatever organization and whatever things that has been into, we should manage the time. And we are coming to the internal communication. Internal communication it is just the communication within an organization or business. It includes both the formal and informal communication. We have Several departments that transfer information to employees through different means that comes into internal communication. Internal communication should be effective as it is a vital source of viewing and representing organizational issues. Once the inter internal communication has been delivered successfully, automatically there will be a harmony of relationship among the employees. There are seven, I mean, eight common types of internal communication. That is just for you. That is from the top-down communication. 
and it's like a hierarchy structure from the top to down communication so that it starts from the head to the workers so it has to be communicated in a proper way and next is change in commu change communication change communication is the communication we are um, it is under the different uh, department so whatever it is be so the communication has to be in change the next is crisis communication explain what is a crisis but there is a crisis communication has to be considered a very important thing because crisis communication it is a strategy that enables every organization to protect its reputations when a crisis begins in a business information communication information communication we all know today with the evolution of information the technology has been improved so it has to be communicated that the information has to be communicated to all the employees in a perfect way with any means of communication that has been taken place bottom up communication and now this side we are coming from the bottom to the upside communication maybe all the grievances of the personal workers the managers or the employees that has to be communicated to the top organizations or top persons so that all the grievances has to be redressed the next is peer communication we all know what is a peer communication the communication between the neighbor person so the neighbor employees that has to be taken care because the communication that has to be that has to be maintained in a per perfect way in order to develop an organization to achieve its success and next is campaign communication campaign communication is just like a purpose purpose of attempts to inform persuade or to motivate behavior changes in a relatively well defined in or large audience the information has to reach at large within a given period of time so it has to be campaign the information has to be campaign and next is cultural communication we have several different cultures for example in us looking at looking and talking into the eyes of the other person is considered to be the better communication uh in the same way in indonesia it is not good to look into people eyes and speak or talk because it shows we are not respecting the persons who are communicating so it depends upon so the culture of communication has to be public notice we all know what is a public notice it is just the notice issued by a public authority we can say a government or municipality yes. so here the notices are typically published maybe in the newspaper or on website or through the other methods of mass communication where it reaches the general public very soon circular and we are here to know what is a circular memo and notice and about the hr letter a circular tends to be a mass distributed to a large number of people once if my information has been circulated it will be distributed to a large number of people a memo is usually has a smaller demographic of audience and that has to be conveyed more exclusively and coming to the notice a notice is not going to be issued to varying number of people depending on who needs to know about what information in it probably a notice can be limited in to it is distributed in a limited circle and whatever the business uh, whether it is a small or large we always use hr letters at various straight stages of the employees life cycle these are used when recruiting employees during their appraisals and when employees leave the organization so hr letter has to be considered as an important in an organization our next we are here to talk about the resume preparation what is a resume 
resume is it is a vital tool in a job search since it provides you with a page or two to highlight your best and most relevant abilities and attributes there are five essential parts of a good resume the first one is it should be a resume should be clearly stated its objective the job objective we must highlight the qualifications and the next is a presentation of directly relevant skills and experience that a resume must have the next is it should be a chrono chronological work history we should be registering all our work history accordingly and the next could be a listening a listing of relevant education and training the next comes here is banking correspondence um we all know what is a banking correspondence is just a letter a letter which is exchanged between at least two parties maybe you can say it as a bank and clients or any other letter which is written to provide information regarding banking services to different bank or parties this one is banking correspondence banking correspondence is, can also be considered as a type of business communication and next is the insurance correspondence at insurance correspondence is a contract between an insurance and an insured in insurance correspondence the insurer agrees to pay or compensate for the loss in return to which the insured pay premium for a fixed fixed period of time it may be of any written information regarding it as an insurance correspondence next comes the agency correspondence an agency correspondence is a correspondence it is a letter it is a communication between the principal and an agent the application of for an agency the appointment of an agency the tenure the renewal facilities provided by the agent the support he receives from the principals etc it is all subject matter of an agency correspondence we know it is important for both parties to maintain good communication throughout the project in order to make a com successful completion of the project they have undertaken just like that agency correspondence should also include proper tone and language that reflects the nature of the business relationship between the two parties next comes the correspondence of a company secretary we know the term secretarial correspondence refers to the secretary and deputy secretary correspondent here we explained we have to prepare letters and memorandums for their signature as well as memorandums for their action or information there are certain types of a company secretary correspondence the first one is internal correspondence it should be within the internal organization so that it the communication is between or happening internally an external correspondence is externally when it comes to the shareholders and all the details that has to be excluded or should be submitted or delivered to the other persons that could be called as an external correspondence and routine correspondence is whatever we it is routine correspondence so the information is being transmitted to all the other workers in an organization in a routine and a proper way that can call this that can be called as a routine correspondence the next sort of correspondence is having some communication between two parties is the motive of sales so we can even say a sales letter is as a form of sales correspondence and next is personalized correspondence it is the correspondence based on emotional factors letters of the request recommendation and congratulations are considered to be the personalized correspondence and next is circulars a circular is the official communication medium which a business organization communicates as the name is itself it is a letter which is given to the audience a circulars should be having a four components i hope so everybody know that it is head opening text and the signature some of the major components of a business meetings are notice of meeting agenda of meeting and the minutes of the meetings what is a notice of a meeting when a meeting is to be conveyed convened a notice is required to be sent to all those who are attending it it 
it satisfies these conditions. The notice should be under proper authority. It should state the name of the organization and it should state the day, date, time and place. Also, sometimes have to reach the place. What is an agenda? As stated earlier, as an agenda is a list of items to be considered at a meeting, which is also called a business or order of business. It comes from the Latin word agendum, the singular, which means a thing to be done. But agenda, the Latin word is used as a singular noun. What is a minute? We all know the minutes of a meeting are to be recorded, or what the discussion is about, or the decisions that have been taken place in a meeting. We have they have an official status of how they are useful in the law and in some cases required by law to be written and minutes are the final when they are approved by the members of the group to which they relate generally in the next meeting and signed by the chairperson. What is the meaning and function of a report? We all know the functions of the report. The objective of the business report is to give the information in an organized manner which helps to make major decisions and plan for the future. Uh, report had the business plans, budgets, and decide on the promotions and even advertisement based on the drafted information. Reports will provide all the important details that is necessary and that can be used to help develop future forecast, marketing plans, guide budget planning, and even to improve decision making. Managers also use business reports to track progress in growth. It identifies the trends or any irregularities that may need in the future of future investigation. How does the quality of a good report look like? You know what does a report a quality? Quality, a good report should be, it is an ideal report that should be clear, concise, accurate, and in a well organized with clear sections, headings, and everything. It should be an easy to the audience to understood. Presenting presentation is a key element in successful report writing. Formatting, revising, and proofreading are important process of good report writing. Report writing. How can a report can be written? It is a common in a number of disciplines. A report is a specific form of writing written concisely and clearly and typically organized around identifying and examining issues, events, or findings from a research investigation. We have top 14 types of reports that have been stated here. One is informational reports, analytical reports, operational reports, product reports, industry reports, department reports, progress reports, internal and external reports, vertical and lateral reports, strategic reports, research reports, project reports, and statutory reports. So we have a business report presentation. The business report should showcase a set of business related information like of facts, analysis, figures, findings, and such. We know the objective of business report is to give the information in an organized manner, which should help the organization to make the major decision and to plan accordingly for the future. We have a basic structure, and that is the background, the findings, discussions, conclusions, and the recommendations. So every style of the report, however, presents the conclusions and recommendations has to be followed by an introduction and the findings. It is often favored in the business world of time poor audiences. I hope everybody had understood what comes in business communications. And thank you for watching. Thank you.